Hey guys and welcome back. So today I just thought I would do a quick little video. Um, I ordered quite a lot of stuff from a company called Mad Cow. Now this brand is one that I have never used before. My friend actually had told us about it that they were doing this bundle that was worth £145 down to £30 and I was a little bit sceptical whenever I seen the offer. But I thought it would make a interesting video to see just what the stuff was like um, for the price. Now they do this every so often, they do put in um, selected products into a bundle box and sell it cheap and there's only so many of these boxes available. So I just thought I would um, purchase one to see what it was like. So as you can see on the screen now, this is what I got um, and this is the page I bought it from. I'll put the link down below if any of you guys want to check it out. They do do other boxes as well, but I thought I would go for this one. I'm going to do the DC5 today. Obviously you see me cleaning the Audi last week, so it really doesn't need any cleaning. I've got everything set out in the order that I'm going to use it. Obviously I'm not a detailer or uh, anything like that. I am just the same as most of you guys who enjoy cleaning their cars. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is just all the products that they sent me for £30. They'll say on the website that it is worth £145. So let's just have a look at the products. Okay, so the first thing I'll be using is this snow foam and it is in a chocolate scent. So then we have got this wheel cleaner and I'm assuming it smells like caramel. I haven't opened it yet, but um, I'll just be spraying that onto the wheels. Then we have this uh, shampoo. So it says on it highest grade shampoo and it's supreme. I don't know what it smells like. Um, the bottle's a little bit flimsy. Then we have got this um, and the stickers aren't all that good on them but I'm assuming because it is the £30 packet that they have sent them in cheaper bottles. Um, which is fair enough if um, the products are good. So this one is called Manny's Milkshake. It's an all-in-one body combination which is um, according to the website pretty much a spray polish. Uh, which I've never came across. Um, the, the thing on this that made me chuckle was that it says warning it may bring boys to the yard. But after that I'm going to be using the cherry wax uh, which is a liquid wax coating. I'll probably use these two waxes on separate parts of the car to try them out. This is a wax they sent. There's no labels, nothing on it. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like but I'll have a better look at that whenever we get to it. Uh, and then we have got a glass cleanser and then we have got this air freshener in the scent creamy I think it says um, So let's smell that and it does smell sort of like it smells like Kyle Werther's original would taste Spilled it everywhere, but not to worry All right, so let's just get into Washington's car and see how the products work So the first product is the Mad Cow chocolate flavored chocolate flavored I'm not gonna taste it the chocolate scented um, snow foam it does smell like chocolate. It smells more like toffee than chocolate in the bottle, but it might smell different once on the car. Um, the interesting thing about this is something I haven't actually came across on many snow foams, if any, actually. Um, but it says add one inch of snow foam to the bottom of the foaming lance and mix it with warm water. To add an inch, I'm not sure what an inch is, but I'm gonna try to figure out what an inch is. Is that an inch? I don't know, good try it anyway. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in the house and um, fill it up with warm water to see if it works. And by the way, if I haven't showed you these, these are really, really handy. They're just um, little clip-on kits that you get for your power hose. It makes it so easy just to put the different um, ends on, because um, I do struggle getting the different ones on and off. Um, I think you can get them just on the likes of Amazon. I bought them off the local car detailing place that um, I live near.
So I've just poured some of this caramel uh, wheel cleaner into the um, Auto Finesse bottle um, that was finished because I haven't got any other bottles lying around. Smells like a bag of ripe bananas. <sighs> it doesn't really smell like a bag of ripe bananas, it smells weird. So as you can probably tell that it is quite warm outside and the car was drying super quick um, so as soon as I was washing it I was drying. So I washed the left hand side first and then rinsed off and then I went round and done the right hand side and rinsed off and then wetted the whole car again and now I'm just going to dry it with um, the chamois that I do quite like. Before a little while there I was um, using drying towels a lot and then I came along this little thing. Um, it is the Auto Glim Insta Dry which I really do like. This is really good it's not a chamois it's between a chamois and a microfiber uh sort of dry and towel it's not really a chamois it's more softer than that and i really do like it so i'm just going to go out and dry the dc5 with this now and then we're going to get on to using some of the other products i'm just going to move on to the manny's milkshake and try it um, as far as I'm aware, you just spray it on um, and it's supposed to be like a polish. Um, so it's an all-in-one body um, combination, which pretty much on the back means that you can use it on vinyl or carbon fibre. But I don't know why it's in a spray bottle if it's supposed to be like a polish. I didn't know what it was on the website and it is supposed to be a polish. Spray it on the right hand side only. It does say in this not to spray it in direct sunlight and the left hand side of the car is roasting. So I'm just going to go and try it on the right hand side and see what it's like. Um, it's worth mentioning as well that the DC5 is kept really well and has so much product on it that I probably won't be able to tell. But it's to see how easy the product is to use and if I think it's anything like the stuff that I do use. So that is all I'm going to do for the uh, Manny's milkshakes. Um, it's too much of a hard work for me, um, considering the car's cleaner already, I don't think I need to go for it. It is simple enough to use. Maybe on a darker car it's too hard to see the haze, it's not really hazy enough to see it, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm just going to go on and use the Cherry Wax uh, Liquid Wax Coating on the car. So we could put it over the bit that I just done and see if it makes it any more shiny. So it says just to apply it with a foam applicator pad, but I haven't got one at the minute. So I'm just going to use a microfiber, it's going to do the same job. We'll just leave it for five minutes and then we will buff it off. Try the glass cleanser on obviously the windows. So now I'm just going to try the air freshener to see what it's like. Um, just give it a couple of squirts in here. It's actually quite nice, but we'll leave it a wee while and we'll come back out and see if it's last at any time. Okay guys, so I thought it would be easier to do inside without all the noise outside. Um, there's a lot of people 
out doing gardening. The first product that we used was the snow foam. Now, as far as snow foam goes, it wasn't the foamiest snow foam I've ever used. But saying that, Ryan's car has been coated so much that it could possibly have not stuck to the previous wax or the previous coatings that we've put on it. Um, I wasn't overly keen on it. Would I buy it on its own? Probably not. Uh, I will use it again. Um, it wasn't the worst snow foam I've ever used. I've used better snow foams, let's put it that way. But it was an okay snow foam. The next product that I used was the wheel cleaner. Um, the thing with the wheel cleaner is I don't actually know if it made much of a difference because Ryan's wheels are so, so clean anyway. So I couldn't really give it a fair test and um, obviously the Audi has been sitting really clean uh, for the past week. But the next thing that I used was the shampoo. The shampoo was actually really, really good. Um, it was super sunny. It smelled really, really nice. Um, it did actually have a flavour on the front of it, I don't think, off the top of my head. Uh, but it did smell really nice and it was pleasant to use. It done the job, gave the car a wash. Um, for me, when I am washing a car, the more suds the better. Um, and yeah, I liked it, I will definitely use that one again. Then after the soap, I dried the car. And I used the Manny's Milkshake. I think it was, um, which was the all on one body combination, which pretty much meant you could use it on any sort of paintwork. So, um, I didn't really like that. Um, I felt like it was too hard to see the haze on the product, um, to see where it was at, see how to take it off. To me, it felt like when you're out on a nice warm day and you wash your car and the um, soap or the water dries in and you can sort of see the, the, the dried in residue. That was sort of the same idea um, as what. That was the same idea of, as what the haze. <laughs> that was the sort of feeling I got from the haze on that product from the Manly's milkshake. The smell of it was okay. I didn't mind it. So then after that, I used the liquid wax, which was called cherry wax, I think. Um, the smell of that was okay as well. Um, I didn't really like that product. I thought I would have. I thought that would have been a product I would have used uh, probably on the Audi's wrap. But um, I spread it on, done what it said. I done it out of direct sunlight, as it said on the bottle. Um, and I done the right hand side of the car, which was in the shade. And the car wasn't warm to touch. We live in Northern Ireland. The heat is not that much. Um, whenever it gets to like 10, 15 degrees, we think it's warm here. Spread it on, and it said to leave it for five minutes. I left it for probably less than five minutes. Um, but when I went to try and take off the car, I actually couldn't get it off um, and I'm starting to panic in case um, I couldn't get it off. So I sprayed another coat on top of the one that I couldn't get off and I buffed it off straight away and then I got a, another microfiber and took away the residue straight away as well. And it seemed to do the trick but um, I would not like to think what would happen if I had done the whole car. That would not have been so good. Um, I don't think I'll be using that product again. Uh, maybe Ryan might use it, but I definitely will not put that near my um, wrap on the Audi. I'm a little bit scared in case that would not come off. So then after I used that, I used the actual wax, like the show wax. I didn't actually mind that. I quite liked that actually. Um, it was easy to work with, easy to put on, easy to take off. Uh, and I did like that. Um, I would use that again. I don't know again if I'll try it on the Audi or not. So after the wax, I used the glass cleaner. Now the glass cleaner was actually really, really good. Um, I have used a few glass cleaners in the past which aren't that good. This one was actually really good. It said on the bottle that if you spread it on, it would evaporate off with just one wipe, uh, which it actually did. I did use it on my front window with my living room. Uh, and like you see, Evo is um, a big dog. Uh, and when I'm out the front cleaning the cars, he's always standing looking out the window, making sure that everything's okay. His nose was all over the window and it took it off no problem. Sometimes I find that I have to really, really rub and because the sun's shining, in it um, leaves a bad residue on the window but uh, today that was really easy to use I think I'm actually going to keep that for inside the house um, and use it for my windows but I did like that I tried it on the DC5 and it did it worked really really well it did exactly it did exactly what it was supposed to do so I would recommend that one and then the last thing I used was the air freshener and the air freshener does smell quite nice and it does still smell in the car now about 
45 minutes later. So that is a plus, usually when you get these things they don't really last that long. The smell, I don't think you'll buy that smell specifically again. The box I do think is worth it for £30. Um, do I think it was worth £145 before the discount? Probably not. I, prob I think that is quite a gimmick to get you to buy it. Um, but it works, it does get people buying it. The bottles were a little bit cheap maybe, but they were fine for, like I say, you're paying 30 pound, you can't have the best products and the best uh, bottles and stuff for that price, it's just impossible. The, the range is good, there was a few things I really liked and a few things I didn't like at all. So if you do want something that's quick and easy to use, would I buy the box again? Um, it is good value but I don't know if I would buy it again. I would like you guys to let me know if you've used the products before or if you have used the brand before and what your thoughts and opinions are on that. So thank you guys so so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one.